Hi, this is Don McAllister and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online. If you're watching this on the free feed, this is a trailer for this week's full Extra Members show. To receive the full version of this show, a brand new show every week, and immediate access to over 180 high definition tutorials, just visit screencastsonline.com slash extra for full details plus an extra special discount on the full four DVD archive set. In the first iMovie 09 update show, we had a look at some of the basic features of the new version of iMovie, so this week we'll take a look at some of the new and more advanced features. At the end of this week's show, I'll be announcing the winner of the February prize draw for new and renewing members, along with the winners of the special Apple swag from the recent Screencasts Online DVD promotion. But first, let's take a closer look at iMovie 09. Now, in the last show, we finished off having a look at transitions and looking at transitions in the Precision Editor. And if you haven't seen part one of the iMovie 09 update, I'd strongly suggest you go and check it out, cover lots of the basics uh, in that particular show. But let's start this show off with transitions, a closer look at a transition. Now, this is the original transition that we looked at. You can see as I move across in the project, I can actually slowly curl that transition backwards and forwards. Uh, we can look at it in the Precision Editor like we did last week. Precision Editor. And there we go, there is also the transition. Um, now, transitions basically are just ways to move from one clip to another within your project. And there are lots of different types of transitions, and you can actually have a look at the different types of transitions by clicking on the transition button over here. And that allows you to choose any one of these transitions. And you do get, uh, it's sort of like skimming, you do get a, a quick preview of what the transition looks like. To include a new transition between a clip, we can just grab the transition and drop it between two clips. And that gives us this new transition. Again, I can just page through and you can see the effect in the preview window. Now, as well as seeing this preview here, you can actually double click on the transition and you'll get a transition inspector. And at this point, you can reselect a different type of transition. But by having this choose transition panel open, you can actually get a live preview of what the transition will look like in the preview window and also in the selection panel as well. So if we just slowly move that across, you can see what the transition is going to look like. Uh, if you decide you want a different transition, select that one, and there we go. Um, you can also change the duration. Now, last week we changed the duration of the transition by dragging in the precision editor. You can just enter the duration here and apply it to all transitions within your movie. Okay, let's say done to that. Another element you can use within your movie projects to give them that polished touch are titles. And the titles have changed a little bit within iMovie 09. To get to the titles panel, we just go over to the Titles button, click on there, and we have some new titles now. Now, this has been a very short trailer, just the first three minutes of a full 37-minute show all about iMovie 09. You can learn more about becoming a Screencast Online Extra member to receive both this show, plus over 190 other shows, and the next six months' worth of shows by visiting screencastonline.com extra.